Following her one-season appearance on The Voice, Ariana Grande is saying, Thank you, next. Ari has stated that she is unlikely to ever go back to those large red chairs, even though many fans of the Seven Rings singer enjoyed watching her coach on NBC's singing competition. Together with fellow coaches Kelly Clarkson, Blake Shelton, and John Legend, the Dangerous Woman singer made an appearance on The Voice season 21 in the fall of 2021. Nick Jonas, a coach during seasons 18 and 20, was replaced by Ariana. The Grammy winner was removed from the competition in the end after Ariana guided the combo Jim and Sasha Allen to the semifinals, but their elimination prior to the final. In the end, girl named Tom, the sibling three from Team Kelly, won season 21. Ariana admitted to being a big fan of The Voice to stage right secrets prior to her appearance on the show in 2021. It's so joyful and contagious, she remarked. The chance to collaborate with artists who aspire to do what we do is a really cool and enjoyable thing. And I am also really moved by how amazing the performers are and their voices. Ariana acknowledged that, despite her love for the competition, she probably won't be able to return to The Voice, but not because of any set drama. She became so emotionally attached to the candidates that it turned out the show wasn't a good fit for her. Every week, coaches have to cut vocalists from their own squads, which affected Ariana. On November 6, 2024, she said to Matt Rogers and Bao and Yang on the Last Culturistas podcast, That's my problem. I truly get in, therefore I can't really do it. I truly connect with everyone. I adore everyone. Meeting new people is something I enjoy and I felt really involved. Fans are left wondering why Ariana Grande decided not to return to The Voice after her brief but significant tenure on the show. Her enormous fan base, indisputable skill, and acute musical sensibility created a fascinating dynamic on The Voice. Grande, one of the show's youngest coaches, brought a new energy that many appreciated, but she later talked about why she made the decision to leave and why she doesn't see herself returning anytime soon. She claims that although the experience was amazing, it was more emotionally draining and intense than she had expected, leaving her so invested that it finally made her realize she might not be suited for the coach's position. Fans were thrilled when Grandy appeared on season 21 of The Voice in 2021. Grandy's career was at its height at that time. She was riding high on a series of blockbuster albums, including Positions, which opened at No. 1 on the Billboard 200 and had made a name for herself as one of the most popular pop performers of her generation. Grande, a powerful performer with a sizable fan base, added a certain charm to the program that attracted younger audiences and revitalized its atmosphere. She was able to relate to aspiring artists since she had experienced the world they were trying to enter from an early age. Grande added a modern pop viewpoint to the coaching panel by joining an iconic group of coaches that included Kelly Clarkson, John Legend, and Blake Shelton. She gave her all to coach her squad, and her enthusiasm was evident as she poured herself into the competition. For both the competitors she mentored and Grande herself, who frequently talked about how much she learned from the process, her experience was noteworthy. Although it appeared to be a perfect fit, the truth was more nuanced. Grande said in a post-voice interview that her experience on the show was quite demanding. She characterized the event as so emotional and unexpected, frequently breaking down in tears as competitors performed and told their experiences. Being a perceptive and sympathetic individual, Ariana discovered that she had a strong bond with the competitors. She encouraged them to flourish in their personal life and artistic endeavors in addition to winning the tournament. Her personal involvement in each contestant's journey, which went beyond simply offering musical guidance, was what set her coaching method apart. In addition to vocal advice, Grande would spend hours with her teammates, giving them job counsel, advice on how to build confidence and personal support. She wasn't totally ready for the heavy emotional load that resulted from her intense devotion to her competitors. She said it was difficult for her to distance herself from the results of each performance and the fate of each competitor. The pressure of the competition itself was one of the elements that led Grande to decide to quit. Despite being a reality program, The Voice is a high-stakes setting where competitors' and coaches' ambitions are at stake. Ariana acknowledged how strongly she felt this pressure. She was competing not only for herself, but also for her team. 
she took seriously the responsibility that every choice she made could make or ruin someone's future. Grande later revealed that this obligation caused her a great deal of stress, which began to negatively impact her emotional well-being. The voice required her to make snap decisions under duress on behalf of other people, in contrast to her solo career when she was in charge of her choices and direction. Despite her affection for her team and desire to see them thrive, she felt too much pressure to make the right decision. She praised coaches like Blake Shelton, who had been on the program for several seasons, and called the process exhausting but rewarding. In addition to the emotional toll, Grande's decision was heavily influenced by the responsibilities of her work. Her other career goals conflicted with the substantial time commitment required to be on The Voice. Grande is a multi-talented artist that is involved in acting, music production, and her own beauty brand, Rem Beauty. It was challenging to juggle these obligations with The Voice's demanding schedule. She had to be there for weeks of filming, pre-production meetings, and demanding back-to-back -back episodes in her role as coach. This made it more difficult for Grande, who has always put her music and artistic independence first, to devote herself entirely to other endeavors. Later, Grande said she missed being able to follow her own creative whims, whether they were to write new songs, work on other projects, or just take a vacation when necessary. Grande has always placed a high value on mental health, and she has been candid about her battles with anxiety and PTSD as a result of horrific life events such as the Manchester Arena bombing. Given her past, Grandy realized that the emotional and mental strain of the voice wouldn't be good for her long-term health. Grande has expressed in interviews how much she cherishes her alone time and personal space. She learned during her time on The Voice that although she enjoyed coaching, the format of the program did not allow her to adequately safeguard her emotional well-being. She admitted that she had misjudged the emotional toll of giving so much of oneself particularly in such a high-stakes and public setting. Even if it meant disappointing people who had anticipated for her comeback, she decided after just one season that taking a break was the best thing for her mental health. Grande was thankful for the experience even though she chose not to go back. Both her competitors and her other coaches taught her a lot, and they really inspired her. Grande frequently talked about how working with gifted, eager musicians brought back memories of her early career, and rekindled her love for music. In a sense, the experience acted as a mirror, reflecting both her areas of strength and space for improvement. With a strong work ethic and a passion for music, Ariana Grande pushed herself fully into her role on The Voice, offering her hopefuls all the advice and encouragement she could. However, she later revealed in interviews that this degree of commitment became emotionally draining because of her personality and coaching style which made it difficult for her to disengage from the result. It frequently pained her to watch her candidates suffer, and she found herself wishing to protect them from the heartache of removal. She eventually came to the conclusion that coaching on a competition show might not be the ideal fit for her as a result of this extreme participation. Grande has maintained her concentration on her acting, music, and RAM. Beauty since her departure, giving herself the freedom and artistic authority she cherishes. She alluded to how her time on The Voice helped her understand how crucial it is to match her work with her own boundaries and speed. In order to avoid overcommitting herself in ways that could jeopardize her well-being, she has also given careful thought to how she can better control her emotional commitment in upcoming undertakings. Grandy's appearance on The Voice has left a lasting impression even if she hasn't returned. Her genuineness and openness struck a chord with both candidates and spectators. Even if she may never coach again, her influence on The Voice lives on, motivating spectators and aspiring applicants alike. Ariana Grande's time on The Voice was filled with passion, emotion, and education. Her departure was a serious choice that brought attention to the particular difficulties encountered by coaches on competitive shows. Although it was emotionally draining,